Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dat Destroyer books. I'm here today actually with my professor of mathematics, Louis Blois, and he's going to go over questions with you that's going to help you for the exam. All right, Professor Blois, if you can do this the honor and give us some information on functions. Okay, thanks. Today, it's, uh, this video is about function notation. And here we have two functions that are defined as such f of x equals 5x plus 8, g of x equals 7x minus 10. So now let's start off with a very basic problem in function notation. Find f of 3. That is the value of the function when x is equal to 3. So we take the value of the function 5 times x plus 8, and wherever an x appears on the right side, we're going to replace it with 3. So it's 5 times 3 plus 8, 15 plus 8, and that's equal to 23. All right, very simple. We apply the same principle to g of x. What's g of 3? Well, we see that g of x is 7x minus 10. We replace the x with the 3, and we have 7 times 3 is 21 minus 10, and that gives us 11. Okay, now if you're ever asked to do other manipulations with two functions and function notation, f of x plus g of x, that's simply the sum of the two functions. In other words, we take the definition of f of x and add it to the definition of g of x. And what will we get? 5x plus 7x is 12x, and 8 minus 10 is minus 2. It's as simple as that. And if we take the product of two functions, f of x times g of x, well, we're not going to multiply this out, but we'll just write it in symbolic form. It's 5x plus 8 times 7x minus 10. And likewise, if it's the division of two functions, it's exactly as it's written. It's 5x plus 8 divided by 7x minus 10. Now, we come to a new exercise in function notation when we compose one function within another. So here we have, the we, we're asked to find and evaluate f of g of x, okay? And then below that, g of f of x. Well, let's take the first one. We want the value of f of g of x. That is the function f of x when x is replaced with an entire diff entirely different function. So let's write this first. Here's the way I like to show this. The principal structure of the function is going to be the function that appears first. f appears first. So we're going to just dissolve g of x. We're going to make g of x a dot at this point. What's f of dot? f of dot, as we can see from the definition up here, is 5 times dot plus 8. So what we're going to do is replace the dot on the left with g of x, because that's what we're inserting in place of x. And on the right, we're going to replace that dot with what g of x represents, 7x minus 10. 7x minus 10. Multiply that out. 5 times 7x is 35x minus 50 plus 8. And it's 35x minus uh, 42. And there is our composition of those two functions. We do the exact same thing with g of f of x here. The g appears first. That's going to determine the main structure of the function. So we're going to write g of dot is equal to what? Well, I'm going to write the expression of g 7 times dot minus 10. Okay, and what we're going to do is replace the dot on each side with the input function. On the left, it's going to be replacing the dot with f of x. And on the right, we'll replace the dot with, with what f of x equals, 5x plus 8. 5x plus 8. So now we just simply multiply that out. 7 times 5x is 35x. 7 eighths are 56 minus 10. So the final answer is 35x plus 46. And that's pretty much how to deal with some elementary problems in function notation. Okay, I hope that gives you a clearer understanding. See more of those problems in the math destroyer. Okay, bye-bye. See you in study group.